Uh, this is setting up the editor for people that are running Windows XP. Uh, Windows XP doesn't display the name of the device, so you have to go through and work out which one it is. Um, I've already done that on here, so USB device number two happens to be my voice live touch. So I click on that one on the input device. In a minute. And then also click it on the output device over there. Now the touch then will auto so the editor then will automatically communicate with the device and uh, reading accordingly. Now you may have to uh, experiment to work to find out which one uh, yours is uh, and then each time you start the editor up um, you have to go to that device. Later versions of Windows actually displays a device name, as in Voice Live Touch, so the editor can actually scan that and pick it up, but on XP, XP doesn't display that information, so you have to do that. Um, once it's uh, finished loading in, like it has now, uh, I'm just going to click on a few screens so that we can make sure it's working. Click on presets, I click on some noisy one. i go to the studio screen, let's put it off, off screen there. Just move it back in. Good live mode, so that's all we're going to just load one in quickly. It shows flash red. Yep, that means that presets in. Close that one down. And that's basically it. So once that's running, it'll work fine.